health care, we are encouraged by the new drugs and we're hopeful that they themselves can be helpful. New treatments for COVID-19 could help keep high-risk patients out of hospitals, but nearly a month after their FDA authorization, they're so hard to come by here in the state. 25 News reporter Andrew Lamparski tonight has an update on those antiviral pills that are supposed to be game changers in how we treat COVID. In Central Texas, Baylor Scott & White has started prescribing new oral treatments for COVID patients, Pfizer's Paxlovid and Merck's Molnupiravir. They work by trying to decrease the uh, numbers of times that the virus multiplies. They're meant for at-risk patients, meaning people with conditions like heart disease, lung disease, or diabetes. They could help stop mild cases from getting worse but only if you get them prescribed early. It is best to get them within that first five days of symptoms. But the treatments can be hard to come by. Walgreens says they only carry them in select Texas pharmacies. And CVS says they don't carry them in Texas pharmacies at all. Dr. Hannah El Sali, a virology professor from Baylor's College of Medicine, says the U.S. plans to send millions of doses to local communities. But they remain hard to find for now. Texas DSHS points to manufacturing restraints for the slow rollout. Just over 500 courses of the treatments are available in McLennan and Bell counties altogether. In a statement to 25 News, Walgreens explains that the COVID antiviral inventory is, quote, limited and store locations are prioritized based on rapid and drive through testing capabilities, high levels of COVID-19 within the community, vaccination rates and accessibility for high risk, socially vulnerable populations. But like all COVID mitigators, they aren't perfect. For Paxlovid, which is nearly 90% effective at keeping unvaxxed people out of the hospital. There's an awful lot of drug interactions. And Molnupiravir. Has a 30% uh, uh, efficacy. While there's hope for the pills, doctors agree the best way to stay out of the hospital is still a COVID shot. Andrew Lamparski, 25 News. Andrew, thank you. DSHS says the federal government allocates new supplies of the drugs every two weeks to the state, and it's expected to grow over the coming months. Some Americans.